Morning friends, how are you? Happy Friday. I hope you've had a good week. I know that a number of you will have had very stressful weeks for very, very different reasons, but I'm hoping that the weekend will allow you just some time to chill, relax, and just recalibrate and just think like, okay, yes, I can relax and chill and do what I want to do. So I hopefully that will that will happen for you. First thing I want to talk to you about today is my my new hoodie. Um, I'm going to stand up and do the twirl for you. Yeah, yeah, I know you're going to love the twirl. Anyway, this is a hoodie that I was asked by a company on Instagram called Back by Nature if I would be an ambassador for them. And I said yes. So this is said hoodie. Um, and very kindly they gave me a discount code. Not only for myself, but for family, friends, and my social media viewers. So if you like this, um, or if you like, if you want to look at what else they do, I will leave their website in the description bar down below. Plus, I will also leave my code, which is Reads and Eats fifteen, which will give you forty percent off. This hoodie is lovely. It is polyester, um, so I would say it is more a summer, spring, warm spring, summer hoodie rather than autumn winter. Um, but I do like it. I love the birds and I love the trees so I was very very happy to be an ambassador for them and I will probably be buying some t-shirts near the summer that I can use as well. If you can hear the baby, it's, um, our next door neighbour is looking after his granddaughter so they're obviously they're out hanging up laundry and doing various other things so that's why we're getting, might get, be getting some, some baby chit chatter in the background. So what am I going to be reading? Well, on my Kindle Fire, I am reading The Little Brooklyn Bakery by Julie Chaplin. I'm reading this as a buddy read with Rebecca from The Colourful Book Nester. We're both enjoying it, but I don't say we're raving about it at the moment. Um, some of the characters are like, oh, yeah, no, not nice. And then the, our main character is a bit of a, a, bit of a ditz at times. But I think there's going to be a reason for that, but I'm not 100% sure. She's had, she's gone through a tough breakup um, and she's gone to New York for her work for a six month exchange. And things are very confused um, with your eyes there and she seems to be a bit ditzy and like non-organised. I mean, it's like she packed one bra and X number of pairs of pants. And I'm like, well, who only packs one bra for going for six months? You know, it's like she'll pack three tubes of toothpaste but no toothbrush. Things like that. So there was, you know, she's a bit like, a bit like, come on, get yourself more together, girl. But hopefully she will, which would be nice. The other book I'm reading is For the Glory by Duncan Hamilton. As you can see, it's The Life of Eric Liddell. This man, I've, you know, I've heard so much about because obviously as being an athlete, you, you learn, I learned a bit about Eric Liddell. This is me learning even more and if I ever had a dinner party where I could bring back people from from the, the no longer here, he's one of the people I'd bring back because he is such an interesting man. What, the fact that he refused to run, run on a Sunday, he stuck to his beliefs. I'm like, gosh, you know, such a fantastic role model for anybody and I just, for any Christian, and I was just like, I wanted to learn more. Chariots of Fire is my favourite film, always has been and probably always will be. And yes, I do cry. Okay, so just to let you know. But I'm really enjoying this. I'm learning more new things about him that I didn't know before and new things that happened um, in the build up to the 1924 Olympics in Paris. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. What else am I going to be doing this weekend? Well, mum and dad, mum and I, and then dad and I are going to do our Christmas shopping, but we're not leaving the house. Yeah, we're doing it online. We've decided we don't want to go into Edinburgh or near Edinburgh <coughs> to do our Christmas shopping um, for advent presents, stocking stuffers and just the whole lot. So we've decided we're going to just, sort of, the two of us will isolate ourselves in the office at some point and do the shopping for whichever one and then we'll swap over and do it that way, um, which I think is going to be the safest way to do it be fun to do actually it'll be, it'll be a dif different experience um because you can't actually see the things so it's like mm. but 
I think it'll be an it'll be an interesting experience and one that I think we'll be happy to try with because of the situation. We are still very much staying at home unless we have to go out. We will go out for for food shopping, um, but we're only going out maybe twice a week. Um, and then we were we we're going to organise for have another um, delivery shop at some point, so that that will be absolutely fine. We just want to, don't want to take any chances. We don't see don't see the point. Um, so yeah, so that will do that. I am going to make some Christmas gifts for friends. I would vlog it, but I can't because it's um, the, some of the presents are for people that are that watch my videos. So I'm not telling you what I'm getting you or making you. So it's like <laughs> you have to wait till Christmas. <laughs> I was I was doing stuff yesterday and I thought, I can't vlog this <laughs> because I don't want people knowing what they're getting. Um, this morning I managed to finish off sewing the last of the, the loose ends into the patches for the patchwork blanket I'm making for, for another friend. Um, I can talk about that because that person doesn't watch my videos. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've just got to start crocheting it together. Hopefully I will get it finished. If I don't, he doesn't. They don't know about it. So it's fine. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I also this weekend, this week changed out my pictures. That's my lock screen for my phone, and then that's my home screen. Yes, we're getting more festive. We haven't gone all out Christmas yet. Um, what we did do today though is like the place that we buy our, our Christmas tree, we get a real Christmas tree, phoned this morning and asked did we want one and dad's going yes please. So our Christmas tree has now been ordered. The interesting thing is that the Christmas trees actually are available as, as of next Friday. Which is very very early. But I think we will still get ours and what we tend to do is we tend to sit ours in a bucket of water out in the shed until we're ready to use it. I probably think we will possibly decorate the beginning of December. We normally do the second weekend of December, but I think with everything that's going on this this year, I think we will we will end up decorating early. So that's that. Bit of news, what else can I tell you? Weather here is getting colder. Um definitely get definitely, definitely getting colder. Um my bed at night becomes a very comfortable and warm place to be. <laughs> um what else am I planning to do this weekend? I just plan to watch rugby as I say, probably start sort of crocheting those patches together. I might do some baking. If I do some baking, I will definitely try and vlog that. But that's it. You know, it's a bit groundhog day, but that's the way. That's the way it goes. Anyway, folks, enough of my wittering and yittering and whatever. I hope you have a really good weekend, and that you're able to rest and relax. And most of all, please stay safe. Please let me know down below what you're going to be doing this weekend. What you're going to be reading this weekend. I would really like to know um, if you want to do any other general chit chat again in the comments down below. It would be really good to, to sort of speak to you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't and come back and see what I've been doing and reading and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.